Hello friends. Welcome back to another episode of Financial Literacy. Today, we have an exciting topic that can change the way you view your money and life. We'll be diving into chapter 1 of the groundbreaking book, Money: Master the Game by Tony Robbins. In this chapter, Tony sets the stage for a powerful journey towards financial freedom and taking control of your financial destiny. So, let's get started. But before we jump into the fascinating world of financial mastery, If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to join our community of savvy investors and go-getters. We love sharing valuable insights to help you thrive financially. Now, let's talk about how it's your money. It's your life. Take control. Tip number 1, the empowering mindset. Tony Robbins starts by reminding us that we have the power to shape our financial future. It all begins with the right mindset, being proactive, and taking responsibility for our financial decisions. Imagine having the confidence to handle your money with ease and knowing you can create a better life for yourself. Example, let's say you have debt that seems overwhelming. With the empowering mindset, you'll be motivated to create a plan to tackle it strategically, rather than feeling stuck and defeated. You'll start exploring various debt repayment methods, such as the debt snowball or debt avalanche, and develop a clear roadmap to becoming debt-free. Tip number 2, the importance of financial literacy. Tony points out that many people lack financial education, leading to uncertainty and frustration with money matters. But don't worry. He stresses the significance of becoming financially literate, and that's what this book is all about. Understanding the principles and strategies is the key to taking charge of your financial life. Example, imagine you learn about different investment options and the concept of asset allocation. With this newfound knowledge, you can make informed decisions about where to invest your money based on your risk tolerance and financial goals. You may decide to diversify your investments by allocating a portion to low-cost index funds. Another portion to real estate investment trusts, rights, and a small percentage to individual stocks. Tip number 3 the power of compound interest one of the most exciting concepts discussed in chapter 1 is the power of compound interest tony illustrates how even small consistent investments can grow into significant wealth over time it's like planting a money tree that keeps growing on its own example let's say you start investing $100 per month in a retirement account with an average annual return of 8% After 30 years, your initial investment of $36,000 would have grown to over $155,000 thanks to compound interest. You'll realize the power of staying invested for the long term and the exponential growth that occurs as your money compounds over the years. Tip number 4, the quest for financial security. We all desire financial security, right? But why is it so elusive for many? Tony Robbins addresses the common challenges and obstacles people face in achieving financial freedom. He reassures us that with the right knowledge and action, it is entirely possible. Example, you might have faced unexpected medical expenses that drained your savings. By building an emergency fund and understanding insurance options, you'll be better prepared for unforeseen circumstances and maintain financial stability. You'll create a safety net to handle life's uncertainties without derailing your financial goals. Tip number 5, taking immediate action. Now, here's the game changer. Tony encourages us to take immediate action. That's right, no more putting things off. He challenges us to commit to learning and applying the principles shared in the book. It's time to step up and take control. Example, instead of procrastinating about starting an investment account, take that first step today by researching and opening one. The earlier you start, the more time you have to benefit from compound interest. You'll feel the excitement of becoming an investor and seeing your money work for you. Tip number 6, insights from financial experts. Oh, and here's the best part. In Money, Master the Game, Tony Robbins interviews some of the world's most successful investors and financial experts. They share their valuable insights and strategies for achieving financial success. This book is a treasure trove of wisdom. Example, you'll learn from legendary investors like Warren Buffett, who advocates for a long-term approach to investing and focusing on high-quality companies. You'll discover how these experts navigate through market fluctuations and make decisions based on fundamental principles, not short-term hype. Tip number 7, the power of belief. Tony Robbins stresses the power of belief in shaping our financial outcomes. If we believe we can achieve financial freedom and take control of our lives, 
will be more likely to take the necessary actions to make it happen. Example, imagine setting a goal to save a certain amount of money within a year. If you truly believe it's possible and commit to the process, you'll be more likely to stay disciplined and overcome any obstacles that come your way. Your belief in your financial potential will fuel your determination and perseverance. So, there you have it, the essence of chapter one of money, master the game by Tony Robbins. Taking control of your financial destiny is within your grasp. By changing your mindset, becoming financially literate, and applying the power of compound interest, you can pave the way to financial freedom. If you found this summary valuable, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stay tuned as we explore more chapters from this incredible book. Remember, it's your money, your life, take control. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more empowering content. Until next time, take care and stay financially savvy.